Hi you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. This is NK, subscribe if you are new here. Today we are touring apartments, New York City apartment hunting video. I will be sharing prices, I will be sharing the reality of everything I see because I feel like that is what people want to see. No one really wants the super curated, really unattainable living situations. You want to see what it really is like going to these apartments, seeing what the broker shows you or the list agent seeing that a lot of places catfish you and the photos that you see online are almost always not the exact same as what they look like in person so it is nice to have someone who is in New York who can physically go to these apartments and is just like you. I am just like you. I moved to New York exactly 11 months ago now. So the people who know me and the people who've been watching my channel might be like, wait a minute, this girl literally just moved here. Why is she looking for apartment? And I will answer that later on in this video, but I wanted to get into going to see the apartments. We are going to be looking at five apartments in total. I'm basically going to walk to them all slash take the bus or train to go see these and take you guys along every single one. We will talk about prices. I will walk you through them. Subscribe if you're new here because I'm thinking of doing a mini series of this because now I live in New York and I technically didn't get to do this experience a year ago because I found my apartment blind. Also get into that later on in this video. I bring you the apartment hunting. Let's go. This is apartment one located in Midtown East, rent 2700. This one was pretty big. It was 600 square foot. I really liked all the light that came in, a lot of good natural light. That was the living room. And then this is the kitchen. The appliances are a little older and I didn't love the color of the cabinets. And then we go into the bathroom. The bathroom was a really good size for the space. It had a tub. I love that it had a tub. I don't currently have a tub. And it has nice natural light from the window in the bathroom. It has behind the mirror storage as well as under the sink storage. So that is perfect. Then we go into the bedroom. The bedroom was very big. Biggest bedroom I've seen three windows which is perfect great natural light the closet had a crack in the mirror so that is obviously something of note for the apartment to fix before anyone comes in the closet space is actually a little smaller than my closet now and i have a lot of stuff so that was definitely something to note i really liked the floor pattern which is throughout the entire space there's even a rooftop access to go sit outside, which I thought was a nice touch. Overall, really, really good space for the bedroom and a nice view. It is on the sixth floor, so I love that there's an elevator. I think that's actually a New York City law. There was a fire escape in case I wanted to go outside, but look at this natural light. It's so pretty. I really, really did like this space overall. 600 square feet is bigger than my current apartment, so definitely something of note. However, there are things that I didn't love about the apartment, but there are also really great pros to the apartment as well. And look at this cute Christmas tree. All right, on to the next apartment. On to apartment two. So first off, I did not like the appliances. Everything looked so old, so run down. Was not a fan of that. It was very small as well. It's only 200 square feet, which is way too small for me. This was kind of cool. The wraparound closet that connects to the bedroom. The bedroom was a pretty decent size. It's actually a little bigger than my room currently, but it is so dark. This apartment is on the first floor, which I do not like. I hate first floor apartments. It did have a AC that came with the apartment, but still having it as the first floor, 
I didn't love. The bathroom was not pretty. It looks just so old, so dirty. Did not love that. But here I am showing you the reality of how things really are. It wasn't, it wasn't my vibe. Not enough closet space for me, definitely. And there were things broken in the apartment. So I was actually really surprised that it was priced what it was. It definitely, in my opinion, should be lower priced, but off to the next apartment. Here's apartment number three. I loved this apartment. It is brand new and very, very pretty. It is on the second floor, so it didn't get that much light. However, here's the walk-in closet, which would definitely be a little bigger than my current apartment. So I loved that. Look at how beautiful the floors are. Here I'm showing you the outside. A little bit more of that walk-in closet then we have the bathroom the bathroom is very spacious very nice like i said this is a brand new apartment unit so everything is as clean and nice as can be the shower is stunning all the tile everything looks great i would literally love the shower the floors are squeaky clean i love the light fixtures on the ceiling even though I don't usually like overhead light, I love these lights, so that's saying something. Just a beautiful living room space. We have an additional closet here. My apartment only has one closet, so more closet space would be nice. And I love that there is built-in shelving throughout. You can really do a lot with this space. This is technically the living room section. And then you saw the kitchen prior. I don't love that you can directly see people across the way. So that was a con for me. But all the appliances are brand new. I love that there is a built-in microwave. I've always wanted one. So that's just a nice to have feature for me. But I do prefer when apartments have sectioned off areas, meaning the kitchen is in a separate area, the living room is a separate area, the bedroom, etc. I know that's actually really rare for New York, but I do have that currently. And I know that that's something that I do enjoy. This apartment is stunning. It's brand new. There really isn't that many cons, in my opinion, about this apartment. I just know that I like that sectioned off feeling of an apartment. There are no amenities in the building, so no laundry. I would have to go take my laundry elsewhere, which is what I have to do currently as well. But I can see this space being really nice for hosting. I think it is truly a beautiful apartment and it would decorate so well. Really, really good light as well. At least the light fixtures. I'm not sure how the light would be naturally because it is on the second floor. You can really smell the newness in this place. Standard buzzing system. I have this as well in my apartment. Pretty good security as well throughout the building. And here I am just turning off all the lights in the apartment because we got to save electricity out here. When I walked in, they were on, but I decided to turn them off. And off we go to the fourth apartment. Apartment number four, this one is on the fourth floor, so quite a lot of stairs. 
it is pretty small 300 square feet i think the best part of it was the bathroom in my opinion but let's get into it here is the living room space slash kitchen then this is the bedroom it's on the fourth floor so i imagine there would be good light but there's only two windows in the entire apartment so it is on the smaller side this is just as big as my apartment bedroom so very small here is the one closet in the entire apartment i would definitely need more closet space than this i can imagine this being good for someone who doesn't have a lot of things but that is not me this is the heating system that extends into the bedroom i don't love that the fridge is in a random corner not the biggest fan of that but all the appliances look pretty new it's just the spacing of everything is a little strange because it is a small apartment here is a detailed look of the bathroom there is under sink storage there is a tub i don't have a tub currently there isn't enough cabinet space in the kitchen but like i said it really is because this is a very small apartment building you really have to get creative with how you space out your chairs and your tables to really make this work for you. What do you guys think? Which one was your favorite out of the four? Let me know in the comments below and let's get into more apartment details. All right, guys, let's get into the tea. Why am I moving or am I moving is the real question. Honestly, just because I'm looking at apartments doesn't necessarily mean I'm moving. However, I personally never got to experience doing the apartment hunting tour in New York. Whoever has followed me throughout this whole year, you would know that I actually signed my lease blind, meaning I did not physically see my apartment until I flew across the country from California, picked up the keys on February 1st and moved in that day. I signed, paid, and did everything prior to even seeing this apartment with my own eyeballs. I have lived here for 11 months now. I do love this space, but I feel like I owed it to myself to see what else is out there. My lease isn't up until end of March. I do have a lot of time to look and explore. There are so many other neighborhoods in New York that I do want to explore. This experience is giving me that chance to not only do it for myself, but show you guys and take you guys through it, which I think is so much fun. I love watching these kind of videos as well from all the apartments i saw today i wasn't completely sold or i didn't feel that any one of them really spoke to me there were items in each that i feel like were deal breakers especially at the price point so let me talk about that a little bit more i am looking in the max 3000 range which i know that is a lot of money i am definitely not wanting to pay that but realistically for a one bedroom apartment in manhattan you are looking around 25 to 3000 i'm trying to stay around 2500 which is what i pay right now and let me tell you it is kind of interesting seeing the market and what is available right now and for that price point I want to also say that right now is actually the best time to look for apartments. One of the places I went to today, I did get to meet the listing agent and he said that exact thing. He said, right now is a renter's market, meaning the renters are in a better spot in terms of getting the apartment that you want. The prices are a lot lower and the demand is also a lot lower. So that is good news for anybody who's looking to sign a lease in the near future and when i say near future probably in the next two months as i'm filming this it is december so between december and february march this is probably when the prices for apartments are the lowest i'm glad i'm bringing this to your attention if you did not know this honestly it's such a fun experience looking at apartments like i said i didn't get to do this a year ago but now that i live here and i know 
a lot more of what I want and what I'm looking for. I think looking at the apartments myself is so fun and it is a really enjoy enjoyable, fruitful experience for me to not only go on my own, but take you guys along. Honestly, in the preliminary stages of looking for apartments, seeing what I can find slash seeing what interests me, I think I'm going to make a few more of these videos because I have so many more listings that I want to see. I really want to take you guys along because I think these are so fun to show people what it's really like, like the literal process, because I feel like a lot of people make it seem a lot more complicated than it is. I'm not gonna say it's super easy, but it is a lot more tangible and accessible than people make it seem. So I'm trying to demystify all of that for you guys. I also wanna say, I found all of these apartments on Street Easy. I literally just pulled up Street Easy, selected all of the neighborhoods that I'm interested in, and then I put my max rent that I would wanna pay per month. It is very straightforward and you can actually request to contact the listing agent on Street Easy. I did that this morning. Hours ago, I just clicked contact, contact, contact the listing agents and within 20 minutes, I got four apartment viewings all on the same day. And I just got up, got ready and walked slash took the train to all the locations. I want to really bring some calm and peace to you guys. It is that simple. You can do it yourself. You don't necessarily need a broker. You don't necessarily need anyone else but yourself and your resources to get you through this. For me, because I moved from California to New York, I did get a broker. One, because I was out of my depth. I was all the way across the country. I saw the benefit of using a broker in that specific case, but I don't think that there's any other case that you would need one if you live in New York. You could totally do this yourself and you will be very successful at it. Leave comments down below if you're curious about my journey. I have so many videos about moving to New York. They're all in my moving to New York series on my page. Go ahead and binge those if you're seeing me for the first time. Welcome. I make videos about living in New York. I keep it real every single time. I would love to have you guys along for the ride. Leave any comments about any specific neighborhoods that you're curious about and want me to go look at because I'm also taking requests and open to going to see apartments on behalf of anybody who's looking who might not be in New York. Like I, I can do that for you. I can be your girl. I'm very flexible in that realm. Please subscribe if you are new here and if you enjoyed this video, I would so appreciate that. It helps my channel so much. Until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.